demo wise. Um, so it was a good gig and the guy wanted Brandon to come back and work but Brandon had another job that's why he went to travel and see friends so um, hopefully he comes back with that money and and has you know a place to stay here in South Carolina he wants to be a South Carolina resident um, and me and mom have been talking about moving into something more eco-friendly um, we're probably going to do solar panels and, um, yeah, solar panels, um, I want a tiny house, so whatever she gets, she doesn't need to accommodate for me as far as space, but she could definitely still sell a lot of furniture in her house that she doesn't use. She has this whole living room just filled with junk that she doesn't use. She uses the kitchen, she uses her bedroom, and she uses her bathroom. The rest is just storage for junk. And I let go of a lot of my stuff. Um, I own very little. I have enough that fits in two bedrooms. And even then, I'm really only saving that stuff because if I do get a van or a bus, I could convert a lot of that furniture to be of use in the van or the bus or the tiny home, either way. Um, but I think I'm going to be doing a lot of car camping, like soon. And I don't think that's going to be the worst thing in the world. Um, but, like, I made a video this morning kind of explaining that I'm, I'm prepping myself. In a sense, watching a lot of videos. Um, Hobo Allie is one of my favorite. I love her. And, um, yeah, like, and I watch... Beck and Eamon, um, I can't think of all their names, and then the, is he Australian or British or maybe he's from Canada, I don't know, but the, um, the Tiny House Adventures, um, that guy, and then, like, I just watch him and it's just so amazing to me how awesome it is to watch, so... I've been learning a lot. I know what I want. I know exactly what I want in a tiny home. Um, and if mom gets another um, place to live, then, and we sell her house, then I will be putting a tiny house somewhere. Because I want my own area and my own life. And I think she's enjoying living with me and I'm enjoying it too but I also really want to travel so do I want to travel with a tiny home no I really want to travel in a van that's been converted so I just I'm going to play it by ear and see what comes across my, my plate but until then I will be doing some traveling um, I really have no interest to go back to Connecticut right now I'm on the outs with my family, and I don't know when that will change. Um, probably when mom's got money, a lot of money coming to her again. And, um, there's so many dynamics to the crap of the finances that me and my mom have and um, I owe her well I owe her credit card companies a lot of money um, and I owe her money from years ago and my brother owes her money too he lives in Connecticut and he we have to push, we, 
my mom has to push to get him to pay her and we want it to be a monthly thing he just got done paying child support for his last child um, so he has a thousand extra dollars a month that yes he could also use part of but my mom could definitely use a good portion of the you know maybe five hundred dollars a month or something um, that would be amazing for my mom. That would take care of a lot. And, uh, her and I really want to start a business. I want to start a business with my mom. And I also want to be a manager at this business with my current employer. However, my current employer hopefully will you know, get a greenhouse and get moving on all that soon and that way we can and I can get my plant on and terrariums and um, jade and succulent gardens and fairy gardens and you name it. But until then, I'm going to start doing some stuff at home. Um, crafts. When I'm not working, I'm going to be selling stuff that we have in the house and um, helping mom downsize, getting rid of tools and things like that that we don't need. Um, I'd like to make this, we have this metal stand that is made for like a canopy for a porch. I really want to make that into a greenhouse and I think it could be done. Um, I just need to figure out the best way to do it. Part of me feels like framing it and then putting some pretty awesome windows in it, like old windows and finding them, reclaiming them, buying them. Oh, yard sale alert. Yard sale alert. Uh, so, buying them, reclaiming them, refer, you know, refurbishing them, and recycling them. And I talked to mom about doing a recycle bin. She burns, um, she burns a lot of her stuff that she doesn't need to. Like, leaves compostable um, just everything could be could be biodegradable or don't use a ton of paper towels don't use paper plates I don't use paper plates I don't use I do use paper towels I'm terrible about it but if I if I got into the habit of using a towel all the time to wipe my hands and you know whatever which I was in, I was in that mode a couple years back where I, where I remembered to do that when I was living in my own house and little apartment actually in my condo too, where it was my way and it was easy to do it that way. Um, now it was easier for my mom to do, oh, somebody's cat. It was easier for my mom to buy paper plates when it was me and her and Brandon but I don't necessarily think that is how it's always going to be um so I'm on my way to work I feel like I should text her and tell her I'm going to be there in a minute but it's okay because I'll be there but I should text her um anyway I blab and right now, I still have my, my core friends here in um, South Carolina. And my core friends are a couple of friends. Not very many. I have a good friend in Atlanta, but we're not as good of friends as I'd like to be. Um, I really just need to go down there and spend some time with her. Um, and then I have, like 
who is my best friend in South Carolina, Annie, and she um, lives in Greenville, and when I get with a man, everything else goes to the side. So that's kind of what happened with us. Plus, she had children, and I love her babies, um, but that changes everything in her life. So we kind of have grown apart, but we don't have to, really. I mean, I can go up to Greenville and visit anytime. Um, and then I'm good friends with her sister. Um, and yeah, I want to find my partner in crime. Have I found him? I thought I did. And he is dating some crazy lady. And he probably thinks I'm crazy, but he's definitely crazy dating that lady. I'm sorry, there's yard sales and I'm looking at them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I lost train of thought because I'm looking at all these houses that are for sale and stuff. Um, so, I have my core friends. and one, one lives in Charleston who I see kind of often. Um, and then I had friends from the dealership and with all my bullshit and nonsense, I've backed off and I think they have too. Um, and I don't, I guess it's me. I guess it's me. I guess I'm the crazy one. Um. I'm the reason that I don't work in relationships. I don't know because I used to be a relationship girl and now I would love to still be a relationship girl, but with the right guy and the guy that was right didn't want me for good reason. If he want if he could see me now and didn't make friends with the people he made friends with who I know had a huge impact on our relationship, I believe that we would have been together. So, um, although he wanted to go off and screw other people and, you know, just all that craziness, but, um, he blocked me from life. So, I'm blocked from life and it's like he's dead and that's fine. I don't care. So, um I do care a lot. It bothers me every day. But I'll get over it. So, I'm arriving at work. Um It is a floor shop. As you have probably heard me say, like 675 times. It's a flower shop. I'm going to crack my windows. Open my top a little bit. Crack my windows here. Okay. And then I'm going to go in. I'm going to make coffee and have a cigarette. And then I'm going to do all my paperwork that I normally do <clears throat> and then I'm leaving here to bring an arrangement to a funeral home and I'm changing my hours from yesterday because I have proof that I was on the delivery until about 5.45 and then I still had a half hour drive home so hopefully she'll pay me for that we'll see and, um, yeah, I'm going to go open the doors and, um, get my day going and I'll try to get some videos in as I can, maybe on deliveries and, um, happy Saturday morning and there's no Wi-Fi in here. So I'm going to try to upload, but I don't know that it's going to happen until later tonight. Plus I kind of want to get it all together. So peace out.